In today's video, we're showing you how to put an Under Armour football visor on a shut Vengeance helmet. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Mr. Football here today, and today we're gonna be doing this just that. We're gonna be showing you how to put an Under Armour football visor on a uh, shut helmet. Uh, pretty much the Shut Vengeance line of helmets. Um, this is the Youth Hybrid. I got this helmet, and uh, I wanted to show you guys how to put a visor, a more more or less a Under Armour visor, on this helmet. It's very different, um, and and having a little bit of trial and error through this process, uh, and even going through and filming another video, uh, only to get stopped midway when I realized there was one major problem with this helmet's current setup. So this is gonna be beneficial if you have this helmet to see how a visor can actually go on. It's just one extra step we've gotta take and that's kinda, of, that's basically the first part of this video. So we're gonna jump right into this. Um, what I'm using today is we're using just, we need a Phillips head screwdriver, obviously our visor and our visor hardware. We, got our, we have our helmet, we gotta take down the helmet first. We've gotta take off the, um, the screws here on the side clip that's holding the face mask in on both sides and then we've also got to unscrew this latch that's up here on this side I'll put exactly what this is called in here because it's slipping my mind right now uh, but we're actually going to take this component off and replace it and I'll talk about like what this actually allows you to do um, it's kind of a quick release system uh, in, in a sense because what you do is you uh, essentially loosen the sides and you can lift this up um, if, a, if a player was to get injured and so forth. And it's super easy to take the face mask off and here change them. Um, I love the Vengeance face masks. I think they're extremely underrated. Um, and there's there's actually a couple designs I'd like to just uh, have on the channel uh, and show to you guys because I think they're so cool. Uh, and they're still relevant, I think. I mean, I got them for my youth team. I got about 25 over a span of like two years of these helmets, uh, super affordable. Um, and, and I thought they were good helmets for our youth players. Our, our players really liked them uh, just based on, you know, how cool they look. So anyway, uh, we're going to start with the installation of the visor. But the first thing we got to do uh, is uh, take off the, we'll start by taking off the, um, the clips. All right, so this is like a, a shut hardware set. And it's got stuff for shoulder pads and helmets in there. And more specifically, there is a complete set of face guard hardware, which we're going to break open out of this because we need to um, we need to basically get these clear clips. We need to get an extra set of those so we can replace this component up here, uh, and we can uh, essentially let our um, we can make our visor work with that because we can't get the visor. Um, and I've tried it with Oakley and with Under Armour. The problem becomes when you put the visor in here, okay, that, you know, it's for this specific model of the face mask, it's not gonna work without taking that off there because the clips aren't gonna fit there around the two bar. So we're gonna have to take that off so the visor can be installed properly. And that's kind of where we're going from here. So first we're taking off the face mask and we will get everything settled the way we need to and then we'll put the face mask on and put it back and where it goes. So we're gonna start by taking off the uh, face mask hardware. For some reason, this one's extremely hard to get off. I think I just over tightened it because uh, I've done this video a couple times now and uh, I'm kind of tired of doing it. <laughs> but I did run into some problems uh, with trying to do an Oakley visor installation with this helmet. So I'm hoping that this solves some of those problems because I'm also gonna sit down today and do that video as well. Uh, and you guys will see that one uh, here in a little bit of time as well. Uh, I remember we upload videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Just wanted to kind of give you guys the update on that and that we do weekly live streams. Uh, and we do those on Saturday or Sunday, depending on what day I'm not busy. I'm gonna keep our hardware safe. You don't have to take off these clear clips that are on the sides of the face mask. We can just leave those alone. And I'm just 
gonna catch this when the screw is out of the T-nut. go so what I wanted to show you when you take the face mask off okay and this is how you take it off you lift it up right here and then what you do is you just turn it and then it comes off comes out of the slot there and so there you go and so we're just gonna set the face mask off to the side when we're ready to put the visor on we will do that uh, but the next part is we need to take off the sweatband that uh, pretty much is holding together uh, the top part of our face mask and we'll take care of that real easy and this thing comes off and like say if you don't want your visor uh, on there anymore you can easily put this back on there but I think what's really cool about this is you can take off two screws and you can uninstall your current face mask for a different one now whether you want to change face masks all the time, uh, you know, that's obviously up to you. But I think that uh, just having that ability is super easy. And for someone like me who, within my football team, I work on a lot of our helmets and stuff. So, you know, we have mostly Riddell stuff. But early on in my football career and coaching, you know, I, we had a lot of shut stuff. So I'm, I'm used to most things. Um, Zenith I'm not as familiar with and obviously um, with Vices I'm not at all uh, that's just just a little bit new to me um, but I have messed with Zenith helmets before um, I didn't have very many at my previous school I was at but anyway so that part comes off and we can just uh, set that off to the side we may want that for later there's our hardware now what we're left with is a place down here where we can attach a new set we'll go ahead and do that first but what we'll do is we'll just attach our new hardware clips these little uh, clear clips we're gonna put those uh, right here on the face mask bar on the very top and then that'll correspond here and then once that's set in place we'll put it down um, I'll go ahead and do that first so this I'm gonna actually review this hardware kit because it's super nice um, I'm going to try not to spill everything that's in it because there's a lot of handy stuff in here. And I may have opened this one already, but I got clips flying everywhere. This definitely could be a good thing to do for my channel. Let's do this little hardware thing. Anyway, we have a face guard kit. And these actually, when you usually, I got a bunch of, because uh, I remember having to install a bunch of these. Uh, face mask one time they actually most shut helmets come with extra face guard uh, you know hardware so so what we do now is we just put the these uh, hardware clips for the face mask on there and they go on really easy like so and then what that allows us to do is to have this a little bit different of a setup here when we do this but the main problem that we were having with this face mask and, and the helmet itself is when we put the visor on this top little notch right here on most visors now the Under Armour one is pretty you know shortened down but let me just give you an example of the Oakley okay the Oakley visor when you compare it it's got a little higher notch up here and so that was causing some problems when I was trying to do that video and um, so that was you know something I had to adjust and I just figured out hey I could just take this off replace it and I can put my visor on there and so forth so I hope that's gonna be a good video for you guys all in itself overall the installation of the of the visor is super easy the Under Armour visor clips make this such a breeze not having to deal with all kinds of different screws and nuts and bolts and all that stuff it just makes it so much easier and so all we'll do is we'll just start one side and that's something that I always try to do is just make sure it's balanced and I think this will this will work great for shut face masks um, at least with this specific visor type I like this visor or excuse me I like this uh, I like the visor too but um, I like the this face mask setup this two bar I don't have any two bar face masks like true quarterback kicker style 
face mask. A lot of it's it's real open, um, so it's super nice. Um, and I've had a couple other like pretty cool variations of some different face masks uh, that I really like and and would like to eventually get uh, and show you guys. Like I'll put one up on screen now of one that I used to have, um, but definitely uh, would like to see back on the channel again. I'm I'm gonna keep this helmet around so I can you know do videos like this. Because uh, I think you guys are enjoying the how-to videos that I do and so forth. So I'm going to continue to do those. And we're just finishing up here on the face mask. With the visor. And I, I'm just a big fan of uh, putting the visor on the face mask first before you try to put it on your helmet. And I just think it works out so much better uh, than trying to do that. So that wasn't bad. I'm going to try to adjust it just a little bit more. Just tinker with it here. I like it. I always like the, uh, especially like quarterbacks that will rock something like this. And uh, the white, if you want to know where I got the white um, Under Armour visor clips, those are from Green Gridiron. And obviously I did the... Uh, the stickers myself up there so now it's time to put this on I feel like this has been one of my uh, harder projects that I've had to tackle but uh, it's overall I think it's gonna be pretty rewarding once we finally get all this put together so we're gonna start with the top and at least get it on first and then we'll just kind of go from there Just making sure I line this up properly. So um, there is a T-nut at the back of this and it's being held down. Uh, but one thing you just wanna make sure when you tighten this is you make sure, and I'm gonna kinda just do a check once I kinda get this threaded in there. Just kinda do a check, make sure it's feeding through that so I don't have to uh, end up losing that. And what's nice about having like extra hardware is like if you do lose something, uh, you can obviously, you know, go into your toolkit and see this one wasn't even feeding right, so I got to make sure it's on there. Okay, so that's it. And now uh, some of the last parts here, we just need to make sure uh, we pick up from earlier. We to pick up our T nut and the screw that works I put the, what I do to finish this is I put the the screw in first or the, excuse me the t-nut in first feed it through and it'll kind of lock in not really lock in place but you'll uh, you'll get it to where it's you know ready to go in and so I'm just gonna kind of hand hand turn it until I get it working and then finish it off and then we'll have one more piece to screw down and then we've got a helmet final screw and remember I'm just kind of holding the back there with my hand holding that t-nut back and then I'm just feeding it through like so now, I don't have my good screwdriver set I've misplaced it inside this room so Whenever we find it, we'll have uh, we'll have that nice setback. But that's on, and I just wanted to check back here and make sure those were on. And I just need to fix this front one, and we're all good. Okay, so there we have it. The face mask is back installed with the visor, and uh, let's just go ahead and put it on. I know it says I said this was a youth helmet, but it's actually uh, fairly large. I mean, it is a large, and I wear a large, so it actually fits decently, but obviously I would never uh, play in this or anything because uh, it's not rated for, like, it's rated for youth play. So it's a little different different material than they make with the uh, normal helmets. But there's the visor combo if you wanted to see what that was like. I will say that I guess the only thing that's just a little bit distracting, which you'd probably get used to it, but is, like, the visor clips, so... I don't know if that uh, bothers some of y'all. I know that 
for me, it seems like the um, like Nike uh, or even the Under Armour ones, they fit back, especially if you have like a two bar with like eye guards or something. Those eye guards kind of hide that. And so, I don't know, it just feels like it's a little out here, but I don't know. I think it looks good. Y'all tell me what you think about it um, and what visor combo face mask combo you guys want to see next um let me know down in the comments below what we what, what you want to see and then we'll kind of uh we'll go through and i'll pick out a, a new one to do so that's all i've got for this video um i think i guess i guess one of the next things i wanted to do um was like look at a lineman style face mask um and, and put a visor on it and see what it's like so that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. Uh, and I just want to tell you guys about our social media links. If you guys will uh, go down to the description of the video, you'll find my Instagram where you get updates on the channel. Uh, you can also go to Twitter and you can find me on Twitter at Mr. Football Coach. And that's MRFB Coach on Twitter. Uh, also hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you're notified when we come out with new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all the way through football season. Uh, and then uh, check out our live streams on the weekends. And uh, that's going to do it for now, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Mr. Football out. Perfect. going on YouTube. <clears throat> In today's video, we're showing you how to put an Under Armour football visor on a youth. <clears throat> um, I've had this one for a few years. This was a helmet that um, I ordered many years ago when I was coaching youth football. This is one of the ones that made it. Um, basically, I took it and... Uh, I don't know why. It's just, I, I don't know why. It, it, nobody ever wore this one. It was just... Uh, yeah, I don't condone that either. Actually a whole other set in there, but we just need what the crap. I swear this video is gonna be full of just outtakes and bloopers. So I mess up my hair. <laughs> <laughs>